this is my contact entry for KS Rex to Riches. Um, first, you want to start with primer, which I already primed my eyes. Then, we're going to be using that orange color from my 40 Color Beauty Factories palette. And you're just going to apply that all over the lid. As you can see, I have tape to tape off the edges because I thought the look was kind of dramatic and I wanted some sharp corners, even though the packaging was circular. Um, I just felt like sharp corners were really necessary for the sharp look that that packaging had. So we're still applying that orange all over the eyelid, all the way up to just about the brow bone. We're kind of patting that in. I'm going to fade, or not fade, I'm going to blend out the color eventually, but we just want to get as much color packed on as possible. Um, as you know, the Neo Sci-Fi collection from MAC have very, very bright orange packaging. And I saw this uh, contest and I was like, wow, I have a look that would be perfect for that. And we're still patting on color. Okay, now we're going to take that really, really black, black <laughs> from the 40 color palette. And we're just going to add that to right out the outer corner kind of in that V area and we're gonna add a lot of this black because we want it to kind of smoke out um, over top of that orange on the outer corner so we're just adding that and that black is really really black like it took a really long time for me to blend this and unfortunately I have no way of editing my clip down so that you don't have to see all of this and I didn't think to stop the video um, in order to blend and then come back to you guys. Hopefully next time I'll remember that. And we're still blending. And if you notice at this point, um, well you'll probably see it later in the video, I actually did the line a little longer on the one side than I did on the other side and the pictures um, by the time I did the pictures I just went ahead and fixed it just by adding a little bit more black to the outside so alright and we're still adding to that outer V just a little bit trying to make it a little bit more even side just to add that little bit of depth <laughs> sorry about that face and then here I was going to add my highlight which was like a nice sh like sheer pink and as you can see I started to add the highlight and then I remembered oh I forgot to use the blush and I actually um, use the blush as an eyeshadow color just right right in that little crease area kind of just to add a little bit more color and to give the look a little more depth in the inner corner so add that blend it in there we go and now we can do the highlight <laughs> forgive my little CD palette it's kind of a homemade thing Let's just add a little bit of highlight and blend it all together as much as possible. We still kind of want those sharp lines, but not a whole lot. My little dancing, some music was on. And then we're going to add that, I believe it's called Snow from Sally Girl. It's just right to the inner corner, just to give it a little bit of pop. A little bit of brightening in the corner. And we're going to go all the way on that lower lash line. We're going to add that snow. Kind of just pack it on there. And then we're going to take a white eyeliner and line the waterline. So we have a lot, a lot of white at the bottom. I thought it looked cool. Right, now we're going to take our waterproof mess, or liner, I'm sorry, from Maybelline. 
can just line the eye close to the lash line as possible. I always suck at eyeliner. Usually I mess it up somehow. As you can see, I kind of mess it up a little bit right there, but it'll be okay because we'll add lashes later and you probably won't be able to see it. Alright, so that's the liner. And then we're going to take the tape off. And I kind of had like a little spot that I kind of forgot, so I had to go back over it with a little bit of foundation. Just kind of fill it in. Which I normally wouldn't do, I would have done my foundation first, but this is kind of just like a really quick thing. Because I thought this was fun. Just add in that foundation. Alright, and I want to take some New York Color Lashes in 974A. Take those and some Lash Grip Eyelash Glue. And I usually just put a little bit, you'll see I put a little bit on my, <laughs> upside down there. Put a little bit on my thumb, which you should see. There you go, and then I just run the lashes, the lash band over my thumb. That way you don't waste too much glue. And now we're waiting for it to dry. And blow on a little bit. And I kind of bend the lashes just so they can kind of get that eye shape. Please forgive all this extra time. I really wish I had a thought about the editing when I did this video, but hey. Mm -hmm. All right, and now we're applying the lashes. And I've never really been good at applying lashes, but I kind of just, I practice to try to get them right. And that glue will dry clear, so we don't have to worry about big glue globs <laughs> invading our eyeliner. Okay, so you can see that. And dry it off a little bit. Drying, drying, drying. And then I have Lash Blast Mascara, which I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, put lash, I'm sorry, put mascara on my lashes to make them blend in with the false lashes a little better. And adjust those a little bit. And that's the look. Thanks for watching, you guys.